Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing our Be A Professional on National Hockey League 23. More specifically, we are being a netminder. We are a goaltender, so hopefully we can tend the goal. Also, you know, I'm just saying. Can we take a quick peek at the top right? Look at those stats, are you kidding me? Anyway, now that I've highlighted that, time to absolutely destroy them because that's just how things work. I feel like I haven't shown the lines in a while, so let's go ahead and look at them right now. We got Stone, Mac, and Carlson. Eichel, who's kind of struggling this year. Yeah, he's not doing so hot, playing with Kopp and Arvidsson. Defensively, we have Gavrikov and Pytrangelo, and then White Cloud with Dylan. And you already know, in net, it's your boy. And another important thing to note is that not only will we be finishing the season in this video, we will also be passing the trade deadline, so maybe, just maybe, the Golden Knights will make some moves and add some players. But on that note, let's go ahead and get the Pity Pen simulation started here. We are kind of close in the standing, so this is a pretty big game. 1-0 and 1-1. Talk about a good game to jump into. Alright, let's uh, get some stretches in here. Wake up a little bit, give the head a shake, and hopefully save some hockey pucks. That's the goal, right? Brian Rust is in, and he goes for a pass in the middle, which just results... First of all, sick move. He absolutely destroyed that defender. But then, he just dumped it in, which was the weirdest play I've ever seen. It's almost like he felt bad for the defender, you know? Like, he destroyed him with that deke, and then was like, I can't go score. It'll literally end this guy's career. Gavrikov tries to go down low to Nate, but runs into the goalie. Still battling for it, though. I like it. Pass to Carlson, who's able to walk out in front of the net and gets rocked. <laughs> it looked like he went down way too easy, by the way. That felt like it shouldn't have been a hard hit. No way, cop. We are pulling off some maneuvers out here today, guys. We've been practicing our deeks or something, and you're just out here kind of putting on a showcase now. Is that what's going on here? Because something strange is going on that's for sure there you go petrangelo let's get the puck out of our zone the boys are buzzing right now i actually have no idea how we haven't scored it's been quite a treat to watch these guys go eichel do it Ooh, skinner he read you like a book he knew that you were going to try stopping and shooting there clearly Tippett has what was my positioning there yeah that was just all me all me talk about a momentum killer holy sorry boys <laughs> All right, I made a redemption save there. Not really a redemption save, that was pretty easy. But you know what, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna call it a redemption save anyway. I feel like what happened is I just dropped the butterfly and then dramatically slid to the left because it seemed like he was gonna cut across and then he just didn't. He absolutely fooled me. Even then though, shouldn't have bit that hard. Like I was gone. Gave him a free goal pretty much, so. I gotta, you know, I have been pretty good with that, but clearly I still have some work to do in that department. That was weird. Came through a crowd of two and sort of just floated its way in. It was saved though. And oh my word, thank you so much, Nate. I was not ready for that pass at all. If he wasn't there, it was a goal. Like there's no question about it. Three minutes to go, nice try. The toe drag shot, it could have been beautiful. Get in there and help him, five. What's going on here? There you go. Gets it to Nate, who tries to go five hole by the looks of it. And it just hit the mini wheat of... I just read his name and I already forget who it was. Skinner. There you go. I might actually just sim past the trade deadline after this game. Because that way, we will get two games in with any moves that we did. Or I guess didn't make. But hopefully did. Oh, oh my, my positioning was horrendous there again, and I just managed to slide back across and kick it away, like literally with my skate blade. Again, I feel like I've been really good with that recently. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm like a fish out of water in this episode. It makes no sense to just have that switch turned on and off. Yep, it's an L. That game's on me. Tippett should not have scored that goal, but you know what? It happens sometimes. Let's move on. They did still have 29 shots though. So, you know, not bad. Even though we let in that goal, it's still all green. So that's fire. What's up, Nate? Is there a museum or something? Oh, a baseball game. Fine. I guess I'll go. We're not even in for this game, but I am going to go to the calendar and sim past the trade deadline to see if any acquisitions 
are made. They didn't put us in for that game and we took a 9-2 L, but to be fair, it looks like we're kind of getting bullied anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know. There we go, getting some bounce back wins, which by the way, all these games, extremely high scoring. I don't know what's going on, but lots of goals are being scored. It's taking a long time to get past the trade deadline. James, zip it. Moment of truth, any changes? No. In fact, we got worse. Never mind. Cop and Arvidsson are just hurt. Okay, we did get Shane Goss to spare. 85 overall. We take that. Just to make sure he wasn't playing on our team. Yeah. We got him from the Washington Capitals. And now we're up against the seventh placed Arizona Coyotes. We are third in the league at the moment. So hopefully we take a big dub. Not great. Very good. Hmm. No, I'll sim it. Whew. Scared me. The 11th placed Minnesota Wild here will be our next matchup. We're almost at 40 wins. This could be the big 4-0. And it looks like it might be. 2-0 isn't that extreme. Let's jump in. All right, let's do this thing. Hopefully, I can calm down a little bit and stop flopping all over the place. Get my composure back, if you know what I'm saying. Ooh, okay. I thought they were going to pick it up in the slot. But Nate does and almost gets rocked. But he managed to firm it. And now here comes Stone. Gains the line. Look at this passing. Holy smokes. Gostas Bear could have gotten his first goal that I would have witnessed. I don't know if he's gotten one. Did he get one in that other game? I wasn't really paying attention. Goche. Slowly but surely finding his way into the zone and close to the net. Now he has a chance. Goes to rip one. Oh no. Never mind. Thought Eichel was hurt. But he's all good. Puck is in the middle. And here's Jensen. Hands it off to Erickson Eck. Who goes in the middle. Not great positioning by me again, but thankfully it didn't result in a goal this time. And then another big hit. Eichel's getting destroyed out there right now. Sinking. What does that mean? Should I be worried? What's going on here, guys? I just paused the game and unpaused it, and it worked. So we take that. They refused to dump the puck down the ice, even though they're on the PK. And they ended up gaining the line, actually getting a decent chance out of it. So fair enough. Big draw win. Oh, yeah. Clean. What a play, Jesper Wallstedt making a massive save, but then his team's going to go and take another penalty, this poor man. What a save again by Jesper. We're getting tons of chances here, which I mean, we probably should. It is a 5-on-3, which they still refuse to dump the puck down in a 5-on-3. What a play, Wallstedt again! What is, hello? Shea Theodore, I feel like we saw him on a different team last year. But maybe not. So we had a 5-on-3 and didn't capitalize. That is brutal. What a save. Throw that out. Ah! That wasn't meant to go to Petrangelo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not like this. Not like this! Please? Please? Defense do something? This was all my fault. Should not have passed that out. We would have had a face-off. Things would have been chill. But no, had to go and pass it out. I don't think I regret my decision, though. Keeps you on your toes, you know? That was a weird one. Pass that to Gostas Bear, which was risky, but threaded the needle. Theodore with a great poke check. Tries to bring it back the other way, but then Eric Sinek gonna get hit. And the puck comes back to the Golden Knights. In the middle to Rossi, who takes a shot. Tried to go five-hole, the cheeky little lad, but no. I don't think so. They're back at it again. Wow, that was... Nope, 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 nope. I don't think so. Another save off the face-off. The Wild are really cranking up the pressure here. That went off like the peak point of my glove. Coming out to play the puck has been working out quite well for me in this game. So that's a plus. Team play should be elite. Not that it matters though, as I discussed in a previous video. Let's play a game called, can our team score on an empty net? I'm gonna go with no, they cannot. But stay tuned to find out. Really? There's still time for them to tie this up to this game. What did I just say? Why am I so unable to speak today? All right, well, Goche did score. So this game is in fact over at this point in time. Unfortunately, the shutty was broken, but still a stellar performance. So I will take it. No complaints. GG's lads, Wallstedt, fair dues. You earned that third star. Great performance from him. And if you look at that, 28 shots and only one goal. 
which means first star. Oh yeah, we're actually just too sick. I don't know how we're doing this because our team on paper, like it looks good, but it doesn't look phenomenal, you know? It's also extremely intriguing to me that we do not have a single overtime loss and we are getting near the end of the year. I'm gonna sim all the way up to this last week because obviously we will be in for at least one of those games and then that way we can finish the season quick and easy. Hopefully we sim well until then. Is the contract we signed one year or two years? I can't remember. We're in Raleigh. We sure are. Uh, yeah, let's go see it. Why not? Natural. <laughs> Why? Why? I guess kind of it is a natural answer, you know? Like, it's if it's neutral, then you could say that it kind of correlates to a natural answer. I'm grasping at straws here. One TP available. Let's go with the charm answers. Coach Bell. He's probably not too happy. I feel like we've been letting in a lot of goals recently, but let's see what he has to say. Yeah, I probably couldn't stop a beach ball. Oh, save percentage took a beating. Let's try that new charm, shall we? Let's see what happens. Hmm, okay. It's really weird. Whenever I sim in game, you know, like the live sim, I feel like the scores are pretty low. And then whenever I sim on the calendar, it just gets out of control. The seventh placed Vancouver Canucks. We gotta do good in this one. And let's see if we can do just that. Well, no. Apparently we can not. That was awful. I think this is our second last game. It is. So hopefully this one's close and we can jump into it. But also hopefully it's not close because they are 21st. What is going on? Thank you. Should we jump into this one or should we leave it to the last one? Which I don't even know if I'll be starting. Okay, fine. We'll jump into this one. Let's see how we do against the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. We are up by two at the moment. But that lead could disappear very quickly. Don't get me wrong. Oh yeah? There we go. Will this game... Be as easy as last game to make some passes. So far, yes. Stone goes in front. That just missed the net. Can Gosses Bear keep it in? He does. Nice pass. Oh, no. Gibson's been playing outstanding so far, by the way. I know we're, you know, four minutes into the game. But holy smoke. There you go. Need I say more? Like, look at this guy. Chill out, John. Oh, yeah? Cop just got robbed two or three times right there. If it wasn't for John Gibson, we would be annihilating this team right now. That's what you need from a good goalie, to be fair. Sometimes they gotta steal games. I mean, sure, they are still losing 4-2. Almost 4-3. But considering how the Ducks are playing right now, he's giving his team a chance that they do not deserve. Ooh, I love it. Big hit as he tried to cut in. That will potentially stop him from doing it in the future. It won't because he's a computer. But, you know, in real hockey, I'm just saying. Carlson, good passing. Gavrikov walking in, takes a low shot. Another chance and another save from Gibb. Two on one. Nate, let's go. He just managed to keep that puck away from the defender and then brought it across. Also, our player was just inside the boards, so that's fun. The poke check missed. Keeps it to the backhand, great pass, and boom. That's a 5-2 lead if I've ever seen one. Also, Nate Mack is second in the league right now for points. He's not going to catch up because this is the second last game of the year, but still. He's going to need like a five-point performance next game, which you know what? We can't... <laughs> we can't totally count that out. It could happen. I'm assuming we took the penalty, the slash. Oh no, they did. <laughs> it's been quite a while since their players have actually charged me behind the net like that, so I really wasn't ready for it. Caught me off guard big time. But luckily, it really worked out in our favor. They took a penalty, and now, not only do we have a three-goal lead, but we have the man advantage for the next two. Or not. Or not. Because Victor Arvidsson said, hey, I know you're playing sick, John Gibson. But also, screw you, I'm scoring a goal. And he did just that. He also split the D. Show me the replay. Reload it. Look at this guy go. Goes right in between them, takes the shot, goes off the right mini wheat, and he picks up his own rebound. What a nasty goal. I wonder how many shots the Ducks have. I don't want to look until after the game, but I totally forgot to look at the end of the second period. So it could be anything right now. They could have like five shots, they could have 30. No idea. Nice try, Reedy. Picks it up. Goes for the shot. And that will be stopped. Oh, my word! 
Ah, okay. All right, you know what? I did enough there. <laughs> and at the end of the day, that was just going to be a goal. It just was. Wow! That is one of the biggest hits I've seen in a while. Arvidsson with a tremendous move. And Gibson still made the save. That was just a lot going on in a short period of time. Nice job, Eichel. What was that shot? Holy. I hope you were doing that on purpose. Because you weren't even close to the net, my friend. I respect the concession person walking down the stairs because they're trying to sell pizza with 40 seconds left. I don't know who's buying that, but it ain't me. I tried to smother it, guys. I don't know what to tell you. We could have had a good save percentage, but there's no shot that they put up more than 40. No way on planet Earth. We actually scored from outside the blue line. Let's go, Shane. Trade deadline acquisition right there. Not another one. Not another one. Where is it? I don't like this. Just don't make any rash decisions. <laughs> don't start flopping around. William manages to get past the defender. 10 seconds to go. Nate just sort of sidestepped that guy. Fooled him entirely. And that's how this game will end. 7-4. So, yeah. That whole thing I was saying where it was only the calendar where the scores get out of control. Apparently I was wrong. Oh, no. They had 19 shots. Yeah. Well, there goes our chance of winning any of those trophies. Well, then. Good thing I played that game because we are not in against the St. Louis Blues. They are 7th in the league, we are 5th, and it resulted in a 5-4 shootout win. Who's going to be our first round opponent? It is the... Bell. Really? Come on, Bell. Yeah, obviously I'm the starter. It would be an absolute shock if I was not. Road work ahead. I sure hope it does. Seattle Kraken. Yeah. This would be a good one to win. The Golden Knights Revenge Tour is here. We ended up finishing third in the division with 102 points. The Kraken just above us, they got 104. The Penguins took home the President's Trophy and we finished fifth in the league. So fifth in the entire league and third in our division, that just goes to show you that our division's pretty stacked. Nate put up 102 and then we got 81 from Stone. That is a crazy gap right there. Eichel had 66, so he kind of pulled it back, but still not one of his better years, that's for sure. Carlson, 58, 54 from Petrangelo. Timothy ended up with a 913 and 271, so not tremendous, honestly. Vimelka, 14, 10, and 3 with a shutout, 908, 283. Uko Pekka, 39 wins. No one broke the 40 mark this year. He had a 925 and a 222. Well, he's winning some trophies, that's for sure. Tony led defenseman, almost point a game, he had 81. Makar put up a tremendous number of points. I love that number, it's just so sick. All right, fine. The meme of me being, you know, all up in arms about number 72, I'll chill a little bit. Kucherov gets the Art Ross with 104 and 63 tucks, which means he absolutely got the Rocket Richard as well. Nate did have 58 though, so he was right on his tail for both of those. Here's how the playoff tree shaped up, and I'm looking forward to it. The year four playoffs, you know what? Honestly, if we don't win the cup this year, even if we do win the cup this year, I think it's time for a, a change of scenery. So we'll probably be leaving the Knights after this season, but let's hope that we can leave on a high note and get ourselves a Stanley Cup. I feel like I said ourselves, like OW selves, but uh, yeah. I mean, that's just par for the course today. One last conversation with the coach before... Bro! Chill! Push your limits. Okay, well, I can... Wait, reach the playoff finals? What does this get me, though? There's no reward. Reach the playoff finals and have a very high form score. Have a very high form score in the five games... What does that mean? You're sounding like me out here. And there we go. The Seattle Kraken finished one place above us, which I think was the same case last year, if I remember correctly. Well, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And we will take on the Seattle Kraken in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs starting in the next episode. I'll see you soon.